everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a linear differential equation of first of it. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus y tan x equals to secant x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y tan x equals to secant x. Consider the given equation as equation 1. Now compare this with standard form of linear differential equation that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Okay, we can write this as dy by dx plus function of x where p and q are functions of x, right? p is a function of x and q is also a function of x, right? We are having tan x and secant x which are functions of x plus p that is tan x into y equals to q, right? So here we have p equals to, by comparing these two, we'll get p equals to tan x and q equals to secant x where p equals to tan x and q equals to secant x. Now we'll find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is equals to e power integral p dx. This is equals to e power integral for p tan x into dx. Since we know that integral tan x dx equals to minus log mod cos x or log mod secant x. What happens if you forget integral tan x dx formula? Okay, simply consider tan x dx. We know that tan x equals to sin x by cos x into dx. Consider the formula integral f dash of x y f of x into dx is equals to log mod f of x, right? So, to take f of x equals to cos x, then f dash of x will be minus sin x. In order to apply this formula, we need a minus here. So, what we'll do is, we'll simply multiply minus that is minus we know that minus into minus is plus right so we'll take minus one minus inside the integral and one minus outside the integral into integrand okay so here we have f dash of x integral f dash of x by f of x into dx right minus integral f dash of x by f of x dx equals to minus log mod f of x. Okay? Or you can write this as log cos x inverse is equals to log mod 1 by cos x. Right? cos x whole inverse equals to 1 by cos x and also we know that 1 by cos x is secant x then this becomes log mod secant x. Okay? Fine. So this equals to e power integral tan x dx is log mod secant x you can also write this as e power log secant x since e power log some function of x equals to function of x. Then you can write e power log function of x equals to function of x that is secant x. Right. Therefore, uh, integrating factor is secant x.
Now we need to find the general solution to the given differential equation, that is linear differential equation. Since we know that the general solution of a linear differential equation is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right. Therefore, the general solution of one is y into integrating factor secant x equals to integral q secant x into integrating factor again secant x into dx plus c then y secant x equals to integral secant x into secant x is secant square x into dx plus c, right? Since we know that integral secant square x dx equals to tan x, then this becomes y secant x equals to integral secant square x dx is tan x plus c, which is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from a differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.